In the last video, I demonstrated performing a standard search with the country filter applied in GNS. In this video, I will discuss how to use the results. First, if you are not seeing a results list after performing a search and the query count under the Query and Display Data button is showing a value other than zero, check if your results list is collapsed. You do this by clicking on the black arrow at the bottom center of your screen. Each column in the results list is sortable, so if you want to view all of the populated place names together or all of the administrative subdivisions together, you can do that by clicking on the column heading and choosing your preferred order. You can also hide columns that may be of no interest to you by selecting the Show slash Hide Columns button and ticking the appropriate boxes. You can also reorder columns by dragging and dropping them. Most of the columns are fairly self-explanatory, but I do want to touch briefly on expanding headings and the coordinates columns. The results list will initially show only the main approved headings for each geographic feature. To see the variant names, click on the plus sign to expand the list under that feature. You will notice that the main headings are in bold, while the values under the main headings are in normal typeface. I say main headings because you will see additional approved headings for features and jurisdictions where there is more than one official language. You can also pull up a compact list for an individual feature by double-clicking on that row or single-clicking on the corresponding yellow dot on the map. In most cases, the simple view will do. But if there has been a recent name change for a feature, the detailed view does include two rows showing modification information. Mod DT FT shows the date when any information about that specific feature was last edited. Mod DT NM shows when the name information for the feature was last edited. This will help you determine whether the information you are seeing in GNS is more or less current than that found in another source. For those less familiar with geographic coordinates, latitude refers to the lines north and south of the equator, or subfields F and G in the O3-4 field, and longitude refers to the lines east and west of the prime meridian, or subfields D and E in the O3-4 field. GNS also uses minus signs to refer to the western and southern hemispheres, so under latitude, no sign means north and negative means south. Under longitude, no sign means east, and a negative means west. The numbers appear in the same order as they do in the degree, minutes, seconds style coordinates you're used to seeing, and the colons are the equivalent to the degree and minute markings. In the next video, I'll cover advanced filtering to limit your results.